When you watch TV, be sure to brighten up the room and watch it from a good distance. This is a city where steam flows from every power source and blankets the air with a pool of nearly impenetrable fog. Coal is the only extractable energy and the only resource for power available to those who dwell here. For this reason, the advancement of steam-powered technology has taken a quantum leap and continues to be the focus of scientific exploration. Under this gossamer gloom, crime seeps from every darkness. Creeping in the shadows and smoke, they are villains and maniacs, disturbers of the peace. We call this city veiled in smoke, Steam City. She has to be close by so fan out and look. I think we can surround her this time so she can't get away. <laughs> All of your efforts are futile. What do you take me for? It's the Phantom Crimson Peacock. They said you were a skywalking witch. I guess it's all true. Hmm. <laughs> Goodbye, dear hapless idiot friends. Adieu, Shaggy. Hurry and prepare the mini aircraft! On such short notice? Well, what do you suppose we should do? Well, what a bunch of incompetence. Don't they realize there's no such thing as a skywalking witch? But I bet you there's a skywalking detective, isn't there? What? You! You're using a recently developed state-of-the-art reinforced monofilament, which is much stronger than steel and even more pliant than silk. <laughs> I really have to hand it to you, Peacock. Or perhaps I should call you Crimson Scorpion! <laughs> I appreciate the compliment, little boy. I guess I've got to hand it to you this time. But this is as far as it goes. Was that a flare round? I hope you understand that I don't like to just spill blood without a very good reason. That was merely a signal meant for my underlings. <laughs> Goodbye for now, little boy. Stop calling me little boy! Ah! <gasps> Miss 
Crimson Scorpion. Ugh, it's just you wait. You'll pay for this twice. No, three times even. No, come to think of it, you'll pay with an interest of two billion, forty million times! Oh, it's a good thing the whole chartered boat backup plan didn't go to waste. Talking here in the headlines. Here it says, Boy Detective Comes Up Big. See, take a look. Brilliantly retrieved the jewel from Crimson Peacock. Over here it says, A pathetic phantom thief mocked by an adolescent genius detective. Huh? What's the matter? What's wrong, Narutaki? You've completely changed color. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about stuff. Must be some thoughts you're having. Huh? I've decided. This is a target worthy of my attention and affection. Something with amazing power and beauty and majesty. Huh? <laughs> what do you two think is more important here? Me or mushrooms? Now I want both of you to listen to what I have to say very carefully. The target is the most prized item in the Quebec's Kingdom's Jewel Collection on display at the City Museum. It's called the Mermaid's Tear. I'm going to steal it in an unprecedented way that'll be sure to make that boy detective squirm. <laughs> Just look at her. With such composure, she sure doesn't seem like she's younger than me. This is supposed to be top secret, but her visit is twofold. They're apparently planning to finally announce her engagement to the Crown Prince. <gasps> is that really true? Princess Lilibel of the Quebec's kingdom and Steam City's Crown Prince Icy Stone River to be engaged. It's so magical. Excuse me, you must be the young Detective Narataki. Yes, I'm Narutaki. I'm the Grand Chamberlain of the Quebec's Kingdom Court. My name is Jimothy. <laughs>